guys. Welcome to our segment to What's in the Pan with Lynn and Shan. I'm Lynn. I'm Shan. That's right, guys. So you're wondering why are we dressed up kind of crazy? Well, Shannon, what's going on this month? St. Patrick's Day, March Ooh. 17th. There you go, guys. So in, in because of that, we're here from the Little Black Bear Cafe. If you guys have never heard of that, we're located at 3768 Veterans Boulevard on the corner of Teachers and Veterans Boulevard. So guys, come on out and check us out. We do breakfast and lunch all day from open to close. And as we said, it's St. Patrick's Day, so we are gonna do what we like to call our Luck of the Irish Stew. Can you say that in Irish? Luck of the Irish. Irish. Sounds good to me. All right, so what do we got for ingredients on that, Shannon? So we have a quarter cup of oil. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is we've got this pan already warmed up, so you don't want it too hot because it could cause problems. So we're going to pour in the oil. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Awesome. That's good. All right, what's next? We have three medium leeks. Okay, sliced. now. Sliced. What part of the leek is this? This is the green and white part, not okay. the stem part. Okay, so we're gonna put those in there. Oh, look at that. Now, guys, these are just small portions of a recipe that's gonna be much larger, and we're just gonna kinda do this for the, the quick sake of getting it done. What's next? We have one small head of shredded green cabbage. Shredded green cabbage. Oh, I love cabbage. That is awesome. All right, now what you're gonna do, guys, again, you're gonna kinda get that just a little baste in the oil so that it looks really good and kind of start to get a little tender, but you don't want to overcook that. And then what we're going to add? We have three cloves of garlic, minced. Three cloves of minced garlic. Oh, I love it. Garlic is my fave in everything. And I mean <laughs> everything. All right, what else? One stalk of sliced celery. Celery? Yep. A little celery. Nothing like, guys, a really good, good bowl of Irish stew, especially with snow in the forecast. That's going to be the best thing for you to kind of hang out at the house. This is not real hard to do either. It cooks up in really uh, short time. What do we got? We have one cup of shredded carrots. Shredded carrots. Can't do Irish without those. All right, what else? A dash of salt and pepper with a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Ooh, a teaspoon. I don't know what that means. Boom. How you like that? How you like that? <laughs> That's a teaspoon for you. Now, what we're going to do once again, guys, we're going to get that going. Looks really good. Smells phenomenal. Amazing. I love it. This is awesome. All right, guys, once we get that going there, you're going to let that simmer for just a little bit on low, just to start to kind of get it tenderized um, and then start to wilt just a little bit. So when it starts to get translucent, that means it's going to just start to glisten just a little bit. That's when you're looking for your next item. So what do we got? Which is going to be sliced one pound of cabosa sausage. Oh, yes. Gosh, I love it. Going to put that in there, stir that around. Look at that. Ooh, you smell that? Uh-huh. It's amazing. <gasps> oh. Full that of is nice awesome. flavor. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heat down just a notch, guys, because as I said, you don't want that lettuce to get too the cabbage to get too soft, but you still want it to kind of hold a little bit of its uh, firmness. And then we're gonna add, of course. We are gonna add a pound of mini red potatoes sliced. Red potatoes. Gonna go right in there. Awesome. Get that stirred around there. Looks good. So does anybody know what uh, the format or the, the Irish St. Patrick's Day means? Have any idea? Mm, I used to. Well, I think, now I could be wrong, but I think there was a guy named Patrick. Okay, that mm -hmm. sounds pretty good. Yeah. So what I, I, I think that what he did was he kind of brought Christianity to Ireland. He did. That's that's what I, I think that's what's going on now. I could be wrong. Hey, don't kill us if we're wrong, but that's what's going on. So, which, of course, St. Patty's Day Yeah. is what that came from. It did. Really good. Now, what's next? Okay, so once that gets a little more cooked, then we have a bay leaf for flavor, which you have to remove before you serve it. Okay, so should we like, like, you know that little box of, like, dried bay leaves? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Can you use that too? Sure. This is fresh. Fresh bay leaf in there. And then we have a quart of chicken broth. Chicken broth. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Now, folks, what we have here is almost done. 
luck of the Irish stew. That's right, guys. So we're going to let that simmer. It's really good to get a lid on that, um, but we want to keep that up for you guys to kind of see the transformation. Um, that will reduce down, of course, then making it just a little bit thicker than it is now. Um, and then, of course, it is going to be an awesome stew. Um, as a matter of fact, I think we've got some here that might just be finished. Just get it out. Oh, look at that. There you go. That is our finished product right there. Our luck of the Irish stew. Mm -hmm. It is very, very good. And I got to tell you, with the cold winter days coming up, even in the spring, that's going to be a really good soup and ready for St. Patrick's Day. So, guys, we want to thank you all for having us here. Just remember, In the Pan with Lynn and Shan. We're from the Little Black Bear Cafe in Pigeon Forge. If you guys haven't been there, stop in and see us. Please do. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.